Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Alfie, and in this video we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide. How to generate answer files, or auto unattend.xml files for Windows 11. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We will be using Windows Unattend Generator. This site allows you to create answer files, typically named unattend.xml, or auto unattend.xml, for unattended installations of Windows 11. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. Open the website. Go to the website. The link is in the description below. First, region and language settings. Check. Install Windows using these language settings if you want to automate this step. Windows Display Language. Select the desired language. Specify the first language and keyboard layout. Select the desired keyboard layout. Specify a second language and keyboard layout. Select the desired keyboard layout if needed. Home location, choose your country or region, or check. Select language settings interactively during Windows setup if you don't want to automate this step. Select processor architecture. Choose the processor architecture, for example, Intel, AMD 64-bit, Intel, AMD 32-bit. You can select multiple processor architectures by holding the control key. Second, set up settings. Bypass Windows 11 requirements check. Check this box if needed. Allow Windows 11 installation without internet. Check this box if there is no internet access during setup. Third, computer name. Choose whether to let Windows generate a random computer name or specify a custom name. Fourth, CompactOS. Let Windows decide whether to use CompactOS is recommended. Fifth, time zone. Set the time zone explicitly or let Windows determine it. Sixth, partitioning and formatting. Partition the disk interactively, manual partitioning during setup, which is recommended. Or let Windows set up wipe, partition, and format your hard drive, automated process, if you want to automate this step. Choose partition layout. Choose GPT for UEFI systems, or MBR for legacy BIO systems. If you went with the automated process, you can set the size of the EFI system partition, ESP, to 100 megabytes. Choose how to install Windows Ray. It's recommended to keep the default option. You can set the size of the recovery partition to 650 megabytes. Just be aware that the system will be installed on disk zero and disk zero will be completely formatted during this automated process. Or you can choose, use a custom disk part script to configure your disk, which is a more advanced option. Seventh, choose Windows Edition. Select the edition of Windows you want to install, for example, Home or Pro. Eighth, user accounts. Let Windows Setup create the following local, offline, accounts if you want to automate this step. Username for the local account. Password for the local account. Group membership, for example, administrators, users. Or check, at a Microsoft, online, user account interactively during Windows Setup. Or, at a local, offline, user account interactively during Windows Setup if you don't want to automate this step. Ninth, Password Expiration and Account Lockout Policy Configure Password Expiration Settings and Account Lockout Policies The default is recommended. 10th, File Explorer Tweaks Choose which files are hidden in File Explorer and choose how to display the search box in the taskbar and more. Check the options you need. 11th, System tweaks. Customize various settings like disabling fast startup, enabling long paths, and more. Check the options you need. 12th, 
Virtual Machine Support. Choose to install VirtualBox Guest Editions, VMware Tools, or Vertio Guest Tools if needed. 13th, LAN, Wi-Fi Setup. Configure Wi-Fi interactively during Windows Setup if you don't want to automate this step, or skip Wi-Fi configuration if you have a wired connection to the internet, or configure Wi-Fi using these settings if you want to automate this step. 14th, Express Settings. Choose to disable or enable all express settings, or configure them interactively. Choose, disable all, if you want to automate this step, or choose settings interactively during Windows setup if you don't want to automate this step. 15th, lock key settings. Keep the default option, use default lock key states and behaviors. 16th, personalization settings. It's recommended to keep the default option. 17th, Remove bloatware. Select pre-installed apps to remove. 18th. Start menu customization. It's recommended to remove all tiles and remove all pins. 19th. Windows Defender Application Control. Keep the default option. Once you've filled out the form, click the Download.xml file button. 19. Copy the AutoUnattend.xml file to the root folder of a USB drive that has a Windows installation, and then use it to perform an unattended installation of Windows. 20th. Download settings. Check. Use file name not autounattend.xml rather than autounattend.xml if you want Windows to not process the not autounattend.xml file automatically. Windows setup will not process the not autounattend.xml file automatically. Instead, you need to run a command such as. This is useful to prevent Windows setup from inadvertently wiping your hard drive, for example. If you went with the automated step of letting Windows Setup wipe, partition, and format your hard drive, and lets you specify additional parameters such as no reboot in particular, calling. The command should ideally be called from command prompt, admin, within an existing Windows environment, or a Windows preinstallation environment, WinPE. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching, until next time, see you later.